I want to talk about hard work. Many of us have grown up thinking that the key to success is working hard. But I've been thinking about this for a while and I don't think that's the case at all. Hard work implies stress. You go to work, you stress out, you do so many things at once, you worry all the time. That's not sustainable, I don't think. And uh, it's certainly not something I'd want to do. I don't want to live like that. I think it's better, instead of working hard, to just work and find a way to evolve your work so that you eventually like what you do. So you go to work, you work, but if there's something that you don't want to do, you try to change the work you do so that eventually you do something that you enjoy. You know, And then because of this, you're able to work more and because you're able to work more, there's, uh, you're able to save more. That's, uh, that, that's the logic, I think. I think we should, um, instead of working hard, focus on trying to cut costs. Uh, there are some really big costs that many people face. For example, the cost of children, um, the cost of uh, going out, you know, transport, is very expensive. Focus on these big costs and cut them, and uh, you know your your standard of living will uh, probably not go down too much. You'll probably still be happy, even if you live a minimalist life, and you're able to invest a lot, and um, then you're able to live off dividends quite easily, and then you can spend your the rest of your life uh, in semi-retirement working, but just not working very hard. Uh, I think this is the way to go. I don't think uh, there's a need to work very hard at all. Um, some people tell me that uh, it's important not to uh, cut costs too much, that uh, you have to spend money to make money. And this is true if you're uh, spending money to run a business or if you're spending money because it's you know work related spending but um, if you're just going to spend money on things like you know going out on dates and going on holidays then you know, this doesn't have anything to do with making money at all um, so and I actually think that you know if you're a, a young man you've just come out of university and uh, you've got a job you're actually better off saving hard than working hard because when you work hard, it's, it can be quite uh, degrading, you know, all the um, conformity that you have to do in the workplace. There is a little bit of, um, you know, ass kissing that you have to do. It's just the, the way it is. And, uh, you know, for some people it comes naturally to them and, you know, they like to do that sort of thing and they're good at it. And, you know, that's, that's fine. Um, but uh, it doesn't come naturally to most people. And uh, not only that, but uh, the as you earn more, you get taxed more. So you put in effort to increase your income, but then you're taxed more. So that effort is not really uh, rewarded that greatly compared to if you uh, focused on cutting your costs. For example, if you just never go out on a date and uh, spend your free time uh, learning to code or you know, even watching Netflix or YouTube, then the amount of money you save for the effort is quite large compared to um, you know, putting that same amount of effort into work, uh, you know, stressing out and getting a small pay increase, but also increasing your workload significantly and then getting taxed more. So, you know, I, I just don't think the, uh, the bang for your buck is there. I think, um, you know, not, not that there's nothing, anything wrong with uh, improving your skills and getting a promotion, but, uh, you know, you have to think about uh, the 
uh, bang for your buck where you're going to get the uh, the low hanging fruit in terms of uh, the most gains for the minimum amount of effort. 